What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Aweva This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, review them, and I even give my first impressions. This one is new from the YSL family or Yves Saint Laurent. This one is called Myself. And they actually took the E out of it. For some odd reason, they took the E out of this one. I have no idea why. I guess it looked better on paper or something. I don't know. All they had to do was add literally one letter and you would have spelled myself. But they want to be fancy or something. They want to be modern. It just arrived today, October 23rd, 2023. I went with the two ounce version. In fact, I even have to write it down because they have so many different uh, options available. So it comes in a 0.33 ounce or 10 milliliter for $34, which is actually pretty solid for a YSL fragrance. Then you go up to 1.4 ounces or 40 milliliters, and that one's $89. The two ounce or 60 ml came in at 123. The 3.3 ounce or 100 ml, uh, that one came to 148. The last one is actually a refillable version, which is the five ounce version or 150 milliliters. That one comes in at 152, and this one is their only refillable version. The perfumer was Christophe Renaud. We'll go ahead and open this thing up, and then after that, I'll go over the notes. All right, so here's the box here again. Go ahead and open it up. All right. Again, there you go. Sorry for the light. That's a side. It shows myself that way. On the back, I know y'all can't really tell, but it actually shows how to refill it there. And then on the side, it shows myself again. Go ahead and open up the box. I like how slender it is. It's a very slender box. Okay. Pretty nice bottle here. Oh, it's all the way black. Okay. This thing kind of reminds me of a Killian bottle. Black Phantom, that's kind of what it reminds me of. That's pretty cool. This will be the only time where it has no fingerprints. For some reason, YSL bottles capture fingerprints so much. This one looks pretty good though. I like the way it looks. I like what they did with the logo. That's really cool on the top there. It does show the YSL logo there. Doesn't really say myself anywhere, but it does show Eau de Parfum. And uh, it is an Eau de Parfum, just to let you know. That's pretty much the box. We'll go ahead and put this away really quick. And uh, then we will spray it on paper. And after that, I'll spray it on skin. When I went to YSL website to look up some of the notes, it really doesn't tell you much besides Fresh Accord, Orange Blossom, and Woods Accord. Uh, then I went to the Sniff app, so shout out to Demi Rawlings. She actually has her own app now where pretty much it's for fragrance connoisseurs like myself or fragrance enthusiasts where you can write your reviews. It's pretty much like a social media app for like fragrance lovers. It's really cool. On there, it said there was Bergamot Patchouli and Broxit and uh, Wood Notes. So let's go ahead and see how it smells. I got my paper here. Shout out to uh, the girl at uh, <laughs> Macy's. She gave me one of these. Uh, I actually was going to do a fragrance review with this and I never ended up actually spraying on it. It was supposed to be like Versace uh, versus like another one. I never ended up doing the video because I ended up not getting enough people. I don't really smell a thing on the... I smell a little bit just on like the the atomizer, but it's nothing crazy. So that, I don't think anyone's honestly sprayed this. All right, here we go. Let's see how many uh, sprays it takes. One, two, three, four. Okay. So it took three, give it a little whiff, a little whiff. Mm. The opening is really nice. Very, really good opening. I do smell like that. It's like a nice citrus note. On paper, I guess, yeah, I do get more of that. Like, it's very light on paper just so far. Very citrusy, like I do get like that nice, just kind of like fresh orange peel. Really nice touch though. It does smell kind of sweet and I honestly could see how this could really be unisex. At least on paper, it definitely smells like this could definitely lean unisex for sure. Although they do have a guy promoting it, uh, but that doesn't really matter. Most countries other than America honestly put half their fragrances as unisex anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I imagine on skin though, I am starting to get a little bit more of the woody notes now. All right, let's go ahead and just spray it on skin. Here we go, I'll do this arm. I don't know if I should do any more than that. Maybe I'll just do it on this side. And I'll spray the shirt too. So that's three sprays. I'll have it on for a couple hours to see how long it lasts. It does smell really good in the air though. Like it's, it's a softer version, it's citrusy. I like the opening so far. I definitely might wear this tomorrow. It's supposed to be colder tomorrow, though, so I don't know how it's going to 
do in the fall weather. So it's probably a good test to actually test it out. So I definitely get that orange. It's definitely orange. It's orange forward. It's not like a strong orange, but it's enough orange to where you smell like this nice citrusy flowery note. It's really good. I do get like the woody notes and I can definitely tell the more this sets, the more the woody notes are going to kind of come in. I am. Let me see how it smells. It kind of smells the same wherever. Like it smells the same on the shirt. It smells the same on skin. It smells the same on paper. It's really nice. It's solid. I wouldn't say it's anything amazing. I wouldn't say just go out and get this now or blind buy it because honestly, if you have like I'm trying to think of what this kind of reminds you of. I guess why I sell why maybe it kind of reminds you of that, like a softer version. Um, kind of reminds you of like another type of YSL fragrance combined. Now I'm starting to get the woody notes for sure. The more it settles, yes, I definitely smell more woody notes. But this could be really good for honestly the summer or fall, depending. I, I'm very curious now what it smells like on a hot day versus what it's going to smell like on a cold day. So I'll definitely have to do more reviewing of this one. But overall, it's a solid scent. I wouldn't say it's a go out and get it now or, oh my goodness, you need this in your life. But for like, how much did I say it was? I think it was like 123 for the one that I got. Yeah, it was 123 for the uh, two ounce version. Honestly, I wouldn't even really get the two ounce. But if you really wanted to check it out, you can get a sample for $34 and see how it smells on the website. Um, I will have it in the link in the description below. But let me know what you guys think of this fragrance if you tried it already or if you're going to pick this one up. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace out.